Of late, I've been reading the book Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. I'm around halfway through the book, but I've already learned some valuable nuggets of information. There's a bunch of stuff within this particular book that once read and once absorbed, it triggered me to take some kind of massive action. I think more than anything, this was more just as an experiment. Some of these habits are habitual and will take a lot longer to burn into my subconscious, but some of these actions are already providing massive results in my life. So here's one of the most important things that I've learned. Success without fulfillment is ultimate failure. We've all had that thing in life happen where we've achieved a goal or we've got to the destination we wanted to, and we've kind of been like, is this it? Is this all there really is to this moment right now? To this thing, is this all there is? To really understand why that is, we first have to understand that success and fulfillment are two completely different things. You can be incredibly successful in terms of hitting targets, but if those targets weren't set out either by you personally, or they weren't targets that were put in place with the end goal being more happiness, more joy, more fun, more love, you then risk not being fulfilled by that success. This is why we so often hear of multi-millionaires who seemingly have every kind of material thing under the sun and they're still absolutely miserable. It's why we so often also hear about celebrities that have cars, mansions, money, clothes, just everything you could possibly think of and they commit suicide. So what is success? Success is defined as hitting the target you set for yourself or the accomplishment of a specific aim. Now, there's one thing that I've learned about success that I think is really, really important to mention, and that is that success is a science. There's a formula to it. There's a step-by-step -step guide to it. No matter whether that be in relation to any of the main pillars in life, which are relationships, physical, mental health, career, hobby, financial. In any of those avenues of life, you can find success by following a specific scientific formula. So what do I mean by this? Well, for example, if you're overweight, there's a mathematical science to it. The fact that you are miscalculating the calories that you're putting into your body um, compared to what you're actually burning off is having a seriously detrimental impact on your health. As soon as you start following a program that's actually taking into consideration what your daily intake of calories should be, and you start exercising and drinking water and eating nutrient dense food and going to the gym or just going out and exercising altogether, suddenly you'll find that you actually start picking up more healthy habits habits and then in turn in six months time you have a great beach body or if you want to become incredibly wealthy there's a whole host and bunch of courses online that you can go and read through or you can study for for six to twelve months and at the end of it have a much better understanding of how money works and how you can make money work for you and there is literally step-by-step -step guides that the wealthiest people on earth have put together so other people they're blueprints essentially other people can follow these step-by-step -step by guides and learn exactly how money works there's also a really important thing that you can do called modeling and it's something that I personally have done in my life a whole bunch of times but modeling is basically where you find somebody who is really really excelling um, in the, the the specific niche or vertical that you're looking to excel in you then need to quite literally model them so what are their beliefs what are their understandings what are their standards that they live by what time do they wake up how why when do they study how did they come to that exact piece of knowledge that set them free uh, in, in, in a direction of financial freedom or excellent health or, or brilliant mental health. Following exactly that will lead you to the exact same success that they had. And the reason that you get those same results is because it's a science. It's a step-by-step -step. in anything that you do. It's a step-by-step -step science. There's a brilliant quote that says, success leads clues. I have no idea where I stole that from, but I did. However, fulfillment is not a science. And that brings us to the point of this video. The art of fulfillment. So say for example, my buddy calls me up and he says, hey man, come over. I've just got back from France. I was visiting a couple of museums there. I bought this painting for, well, uh, I hope you're sitting down, 35,000 pounds. Yep, yep, 
almost my life savings on this painting. Come around and see it, man. So I drive around and I see what essentially looks to me like something any four-year-old could have done with crayons. A humongous wall-to-ceiling canvas of crap. However, he then tells me this story about how when he was a kid, his grandfather had a small replica of this painting above his kitchen door, and every day he would see it. His grandfather used to tell him thousands and thousands of stories throughout his entire life about how he loved this piece of art and how it became a beautiful representation of hope for him. And when his grandfather passed away, he took the small replica painting from the glass frame and folded it up and put it in his wallet to remember him. Later on in life, when he got to a stage where he was financially wealthy and travelled around a lot, he found himself one day within a few feet of the original painting. His time had come, the universe had him through his whole life towards this moment, and now there was not much in my friend's life that filled him with the joy that this painting did now it was hung in his living room. You see, what was irritating and completely worthless to me and didn't bring me any kind of fulfillment whatsoever, brought him a whole heart full of fulfillment. I can go and learn every single scientific step that my buddy took to be able to buy a house in the pine forest, to be able to go and do all of these cool things, travel around the world, have the financial freedom that he had. I can go and do all of those scientific steps and I can match him for success exactly the same level. But one thing I can't do is go and spend 35,000 pounds on a ridiculous painting and feel fulfilled. Fulfillment comes from within. If you can't find absolute joy or complete ecstasy in this moment, in the simplest things, in the conversation with a friend, looking in your lover's eyes, going for a run, dancing in the street, dancing in the kitchen. If you can't do the most ridiculously tiny, small things in the moment and find complete joy in those, then I'm here to tell you that more cars, more money, more clothes, more stuff, more anything that you're buying or acquiring just because you think it's gonna give you more social status is never, ever, ever gonna give you more fulfillment. I think that that's why it's so tragic when we hear about people staying in jobs that they hate or staying in toxic relationships. Those people that are just coursing through life 90 pounds overweight, when really the antidote to any of those negative situations is just making the decision that you're gonna change those situ situations to be more fulfilled realign your goals with happiness in mind instead. And if it means walking away from a job or a person or pushing away that extra plate of food, then so be it. You will only ever reach optimum happiness in life when you feel fulfilled. For me now, I know that I have eliminated all goals that were aimed at me getting a new car so that people saw me in it and thought that I was rich. Or having enough money to buy all the trainers and clothes that I could so that my social status elevated. Essentially, I asked myself whose measuring stick I was using when I was measuring my own successes. Now I only set myself goals that I know the outcome will fulfill me. Because to me, that is success. Not the arrival at a goal as such, but more being on a continuing journey hitting smaller milestones along the way, achieving excellent health, contribution and giving to others, appreciation and looking for growth in my relationships with my girlfriend, my family, my friends, constantly learning more about the mind and who we are and what we can achieve as human beings, and doing work that not only impacts the people that I work around on a day-to-day -day basis in a positive way, but work that fulfills me, work that I genuinely love doing. I've come to a road in my life where, again, following a whole bunch of step-by-step -step guides, I own and manage my own social media growth company. I have some amazing video clients around the world. I have a newish car that really goes when I put my foot down, but I also relish in the fulfillment of all the small things that exist around me in my life at all times. So before I end this video, I ask you this. What goals could you set yourself now that if you hit them, you would not only feel great levels of success, but you would also feel incredibly fulfilled? Thanks for watching.